18 points in the biggest game of your life right now. You get to go to the Sweet 16. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm I'm ecstatic, man. Like like I said, you know, yesterday, the day before, um, we got a great group of dudes. We got a resilient group. Um, you know, we're going to keep fighting for each other. We uh, we expected to come here, but in no way are we satisfied by this. You know, we want to keep this run going for for more more weekends and more games. So now that you're here, what's the expectation going forward? Yeah, we're just going to give it all all we got. Like um, you know, Texas. I think we got them up next. And that's going to be a battle for sure. Um, you know, we'll kind of worry about them more as, as the week goes on. But uh, you know, I feel like we're just going to take a couple of days and you know, really just enjoy each other and enjoy this big win. You get your fifth foul with about four minutes left. What's going through your head right after you have to leave the game? <laughs> Oh man, it's it's a helpless feeling, right? Like you want to be out there, um, you know. You see, they get a couple offensive rebounds, but you just you got I got complete trust in, in my guys. Um, you know, I knew that we were going to be able to finish out the game. It just you know took a little bit, but um, ah, man, it's I'm just I'm just ecstatic that, that we came out with the W. So how long do you get to enjoy this before you have to start locking it on Texas prep? <laughs> Uh, I feel like maybe today we'll we'll take it all in, you know, get home. Uh, we get home early, which is which is going to be nice. And um, I feel like as soon as we know, you know, when we're traveling and stuff like that, and when we practice coming up these next couple of days, we'll be ready to go. In the first half, you and Kunkel it seemed like had a really special connection. You got him an assist on one of his five first half threes. He had the alley oop to you. What was going on chemistry wise between the two of you? Uh, you know, Adam, he's a phenomenal shooter. Uh, we we got to keep finding him. You know, when he's when he's making shots like that, uh, we just got to go to him. And he's also a great passer. You know, he's he's great on the offensive end. He makes the right plays. And um, yeah, that was, that was a great pass on the alley. I was glad he threw it. You're going to the Sweet 16 for the first time in your career. Once it settles in, who's your first phone call? <laughs> Uh, first phone call. I don't know if I'm gonna have any calls. You know, my mom's here. I'm probably gonna go out here and, and give her a big hug. Um, my sister's here. Uh, my little brother's here, and then uh, I guess maybe my other sister. Um, you know, she's she's in South Africa right now for a, for a trip. Um, so I'll maybe give her a call and and just you know tell her that you know I, she was there even if she wasn't there, and um, we're all thinking about her and. Yeah, gonna enjoy it for sure. You did this in front of your family then. How special is that? <laughs> yeah, it's special. I mean, <laughs> you got me crying over here. Um, yeah, my family, um, you know, for a couple years here and there, we had a, a rough a rough go of it. And, um, you know, I miss my dad every single day. And <laughs> I know he's fine. These are tears of joy because, you know, my family, we've been, we've been through it. And uh, you know, my dad, he was there. So that's all that matters. Jack, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Colby, a double-double, almost a triple-double in the biggest game of your life. What was going through your head out there? Uh, I just wanted to play hard and leave it all out there for our guys. And um, just trying to do anything to get a win. And you really were doing absolutely everything. What, where is that switch where it's like, I got to be the guy who can help out in absolutely every facet of the game? Uh, I feel like definitely after last game, that was my best performance. And uh, just talking to my family and talking to the coaches, I know how to... Uh, step it up out there and I feel like that's what I did. How much did that first game, that close call against Kennesaw State, go into today's performance? I feel like it bled over a lot just because knowing like if we would have lost that season's over with and um, I don't want to have that feeling that we lost the game and I played bad so I feel like I just wanted to um, do everything I could to help us win today. So what did you learn about how precious, how fragile these NCAA tournament moments are? Oh yeah, just like you said, they're fragile. If we lost the game could be over, season could be over so um, I mean we all talk before the game just leave it all out there no regrets because we don't want to leave the court knowing that they play harder than us you and I talked yesterday a lot about guard play and transition defense how important that was going to be how would you assess how you guys did that I feel like we did good they only made six threes today and, and that's their average when they take a loss so um, we know if we could eliminate those we'd have a good chance of winning and um, credits to AK and Sule those were our people stopping the ball in transition I feel like they did a great job you seem pretty serious right now you guys are going to the sweet 16 how do you feel I mean yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited but I know that's not we don't want to end the season here so it's definitely work to do but um yeah I'm definitely gonna take this day and celebrate it with my guys but uh yeah yeah you're, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> what's the expectation as you go forward uh we just want to keep we just want to keep playing I don't want this season to end with our guys we have a special group but um expectations just to play hard not let anyone play harder than us and um the results will carry over cool Colby thanks so much thank appreciate you, you. Appreciate congratulations you. Yes, sir. Thank you.
Absolutely. Absolutely. The first half probably didn't go the way you wanted it to, but I mean, you're walking away with the winning, going to the Sweet 16. Yeah. What's going through your mind right now? I mean, I'm just happy. I know I wasn't making nothing. I was off throwing bricks up today, but I'm just happy that we won. And I picked myself up in the second half, and my teammates had my back coaching stuff, like all they always do. And we're going to the Sweet 16. Yeah, you mentioned you picked up in the second half, zero points in the first half, but you got to double digits. You're one of six guys on this team who did that. What changed for you in the second half? Uh, I was just staying aggressive, keep trying to take my shots, getting downhill, being aggressive, trying to get fouled. Um, my teammates looking for me, and um, I knew I was going to get going eventually, so I wasn't really worried about it. Yesterday, we talked a lot about guard play, transition defense being really important. How would you assess that you guys did today? I mean, I feel like we did good. I feel like uh, that was the main focus for us. We knew they shot a, shoot a lot of threes, so we were trying to get back and get to their shooters and stuff, and I feel like we locked in and I would feel like we did our, our task at a, um, at, a, at a good point. There's still water on the ceiling in the locker room. What was the celebration like? It was, it was, it was amazing. It was fun. Everybody was hyped. Everybody was jumping. So we was just all excited and we got Coach Good. What was your favorite moment from the celebration? Just playing the music, <laughs> uh, just getting on Coach. That was probably the most fun because we got, we got on Coach and we, we got him good. That was probably the most funnest part. You've had a journey in your college career. We've talked about this being your Cinderella story. Yep. Has it sunk in? You're going to the Sweet 16? Man, I, I don't think it's sunk in. Yeah, I don't think it's going to sink in until we probably get there, but uh, I'm just happy to keep it going. Who's the first person you're going to call once you get back on the bus? Uh, for, I don't even know. There's probably people. My phone is going crazy right now. Everybody <laughs> hitting me up, but um, I'm probably just going to go see my mom. I know she's out there, but um, I don't even know. Getting your biggest win in front of your mom in the crowd in North Carolina, how special is that? It was very special. I know she was happy. I know she was excited. And I know she's just happy that I'm going to keep playing. Absolutely. Congrats, brother. Thank you, man. Adam, you're taking your hometown team to the Sweet 16. What's this moment like? It's a dream come true. I used to... I used to dream about moments like these, uh, playing basketball in the backyard with my brothers, uh, and they always instill confidence in me, and I, I knew I was going to be in a moment like this, and I'm glad I got to take advantage of it. You mentioned your brothers. How special is it that you get to do this and represent your family? It's amazing, man. Being able to get hot like that in a tournament like this and be able to look up in the crowd and see my brothers and my parents going crazy, it's a great feeling. You said get hot like this, five for five in the first half. Where was your confidence level at? I, <laughs> it, it, was, it was to the point where any time I touched the ball, I wanted to throw it up. Were the guys cool with you throwing up all those threes? Yeah, they knew I was hot. They was, they was talking, that, like telling them to find me that I was hot and, and whatnot. So, yeah, absolutely. When we spoke yesterday, we talked a little bit about guard play and transition defense. How would you assess that you guys performed? Uh, I would say we did great. Uh, we did great in transition. Uh, we li limited, limited them to, the, to three-pointers. Uh, we got out in transition and got our own buckets, too. So uh, our guard play was definitely there today. If you look up, the ceiling is still wet. What was the celebration like that in here after the game? Hey, we had a great celebration here. It was like a water park. Let's <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> Does, during the game, I saw uh, you, you were being very vocal, especially down the stretch after Jack Nungie fouled out, telling your guys you only had two timeouts left. I know you're a vocal leader, but why were you being almost extra communicative during that time? Uh, yeah, because in games like this, it's, uh, I mean, it's March. You guys know anything can happen. And I was just trying to explain to them that, like, no matter no matter how much we're up there's like two or three minutes left like it's not over like anything can happen especially with a team like them when they when they're they're good from behind the arc and can make threes uh, they can come back at any given moment six weeks ago you told me that the expectation national championship it's all on the table there for you where is your confidence now compared to that six weeks ago same thing man we can go wherever we want to go it's we're on a mission to prove that Awesome, man. Appreciate you. Yes, Thanks, man. Congrats. I'll see you in KC, my man.